It's really important to get a good mental model for things that the TypeScript compiler does, and that's especially true for read-only properties. So here, we've got this age property up top here, or variable, and age here is inferred as a number. So if I reassign age here, it's going to work because age is declared with a let and it's saying that this age can change over time. Whereas if I put this as a const, then I can't reassign to it, right? And age, instead of just being inferred as a number, it's actually inferred as its literal type, as 31, which is really interesting. I can sort of force this on the let by saying age is 31 and then it gets inferred. And then if I try to reassign to it, then it's not going to let me because 31 is not assignable to type 32. The same is true for strings too. So name Matt is actually being inferred as Matt, but it gets more complicated when you go to arrays and objects. Here, even though I'm declaring the array as a string, uh, or rather as a const, members of the array can be manipulated. So I can say TS people zero equals uh, Eddie, for instance. So here, that's it's being declared as string inside the member. Whereas if I say as const, then first of all, I'm not going to be able to reassign to it, but also this is now going to be declared as its literal. So it's going to be inferred all the way down. And the same is true for objects too. So here I can say more TS people dot anderist equals uh, whatever, but in here I can say as const and now everything is inferred all the way down. This is really critical if you want like type checking or you want inference based on the members of the array that you're passing in or the values of the objects that you're passing in. And this is where TypeScript getting that mental model really solid is going to help you in a ton of different places.